Well, hello everyone. Good afternoon. It is it's late, but Shabbat Shalom. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Have a good day. This is Miss Norma. Whew. Signing in, signing on. Our reading today is entitled Stormy Weathers. Stormy weather, but it's been a beautiful day outside. I hope that everyone has gotten a chance to enjoy it. Um, and even if it really is stormy weather for you today, I pray that the strength of his sunshine on the inside has been able to get you through this day. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the strength that came with it, Lord, your foreknowledge of what our day would hold, Lord, and the ordering of our steps. Father, thank you for truly, truly sunshine in our souls. Lord, help us to remember to be thankful and grateful, but also, Lord, to praise you, Lord, to cover our families, Lord, and our children especially with your blanket of grace and mercy. Father, someone may be going through right now. Um, maybe they will share and possibly they won't. They may be suffering in silence, Lord, um, from a circumstances that are beyond their control. Our oh, Lord, in some cases, they may bear the brunt of being responsible for it, whatever it is, Lord. I pray now, Lord, and I ask that you would allow a rest to come and also, Lord, relief. Father, help us to be able to hold tightly to your arm, even in the face of any adversity in our lives. And Father, to be jubilant in the joy that you send to us, Lord. Help us to have the mindset, Lord, to look for that silver lining in every cloud for we all bear a cloud at times, Lord. But Father, there's always hope inside of each adverse circumstance. So thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Our reading once again is entitled, for July the 2nd, Stormy Weather. Stormy Weather. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Exodus 15 and verse 12. One day, on a day from work at summer camp, I decided to spend my free time with family at home. While I stopped at a gas station along the way, I felt my phone buzzing in my pocket. I pulled it out and it read, emergency alert. Flash flood warning until 5 p.m. I looked up and I saw sunny skies overhead and friendly clouds floating through the air. I laughed and continued driving. Slowly, however, the sunny skies gave way to gray, billowing clouds. With only 30 minutes left in my drive, I noticed light rain falling on my windshield. Light rain turned to a steady pour, downpour. Now the gray billowing clouds turned to green swirling clouds. Eventually, sheets of rain blinded my vision as I slowed to a crawl, passing parked vehicles along the shoulder of the road. Hands trembling and heart pounding, I reassured myself, I've driven through blizzards worse than this. A little rain won't hurt anything. Suddenly, I no longer had control of my vehicle. The wind shook my car, the road became a river, and the green sky glared at me. My mind racing, I pulled to a halt behind a stopped vehicle and thought, is this a tornado? Could a giant piece of debris come crashing through my windshield? Is the ditch safer than my car? I sat listening to the squeak of my windshield wipers as they frantically but uselessly pushed against the rain. 
God, I don't know what's happening out there, but please keep me safe. I can't tell you that I had instantaneous peace about the storm or that the rain stopped falling that very moment. No, I still don't know what might become of me. I still didn't know what might become of me. My car continued to wobbling in the wind and my heart continued racing. Eventually, I made it out of the storm alive and well. Driving the rest of the way home, I saw uprooted trees, lawns flooded, and run-down barns collapsed. As I pulled into my grandparents' driveway, I breathed another quick prayer. Thanks for your protection, God. Reflecting on that experience, I've made a spiritual connection. God wants to guide us through all of our storms. You might be dealing with storms, literal or metaphorical, right now. If so, I encourage you to look to Christ for, for protection and strength. Our reading today was written by Brittany Conrad. Amen. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for this story, real life story, about a physical storm, Lord. But as the writer said too, some storms might be metaphorical in our lives. Abba Father, you said that you would see us through the storms and you promised to never leave us nor forsake us. Father, how you do the math in each and every one of our lives from a personal standpoint it is different from person to person. But you do the math, Lord, and you add it up. And you know, Lord, whether we need to stand still, creep forward, Lord. And sometimes, Father, the storm washes completely over us, Lord. It takes out the roads in our lives, Father, and we find ourselves stranded or surrounded by water some other water of life, Father, whatever it is, Lord. Thank you for allowing us, Lord, as you led Brittany, Lord, drive into the storm, experience the storm, but Lord, you brought her out on the other side. So Father, today, thank you for bringing us on <laughs> the other side of this trial. That's a song by Billy Gaines, on the other side of this trial. Thank you, Abba Father. You gave a song once again for today. Blessing and healing to all of our land. Thank you, Lord, for the other side of the storm. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, family, it's amazing how God does things because I ask from day to day what the song is, and sometimes I get messages from you all and you you all send me songs and then there's days like today where um you literally give me a song in the midst of the prayer and um i'm going to add it to our songs for the devotional reading it's called the other side of the trial it's by billy gaines have a blessed day, everyone. Good afternoon. Mwah. This is Miss Norma. I love you. And by his grace, I will see you on tomorrow. And I hope and pray that you have a wonderful, wonderful extended holiday weekend since most of us will probably be off on Monday as well celebrating um, the 4th of July. So by his grace, I'll see you on tomorrow. And remember, it's always the other side of the trial. Even through tears, there's the other side of the trial. So thank you, Abba Father. Have a blessed day, everyone. This is Miss Norma signing off. I love you once more. Amen.